Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ARWIN data modeling tool. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create macros and configure those macros in this tool. So what is macro? So if you notice in the SQL that is Microsoft Excel sheet, you can create some custom functions such as sum, addition, etc or any other macros to have the complex functionality. So similarly like that, in this ARWIN tool also we can create a custom functionality which is not possible with existing functions. So that is nothing but the macro. So now the next thing, what is the use of this macro? So purposely as I, uh, as I said, if you want to achieve some custom functionality, which is not possible with the existing functionality. We can use this functionality such as changing the name convention. For example, here I can see my party name. So if you want to change the like the annotation, so the, the way it is get displayed. So for example, before this party ID, if I want to update, uh, append the party also. So you can, you can do that using the macros. Now, where can you configure the macros or how can you configure the macros so in order to configure the macros you can go to the action manage uh, sorry model naming option and here you have the name mapping so in the name mapping you can see the entity to the table domains attribute to column relationships key group to index validation rules etc so these are the available object types for us. The macro name here added. Similarly, some other section we have the macros, but this is the one of the section which is more commonly used for configuring the various naming convention as per the business. Now, in order to create any custom macro, you can go to the macro toolbar. In the macro toolbar, we have the entity macro, relationship macro, attribute macro, constant macro, miscellaneous macros. So these macros are nothing but the custom functionality. These are the inbuilt functionalities in this ARWIN tool. If you want to create a custom functionality using this existing inbuilt functionality, we can do that also. So let's have a look on the entity macro. In the entity macro, we have the action, actions, etc. Entity ID, entity name, and so many. For the relationship macros, we have the child, cardinality, entity ID, entity name, etc. For the attribute macro, we have the attribute definition, attribute default. Then for the constant, we have the default name, default value, domain definition, and some more other, like for example, validation name, validation rule. For the miscellaneous, we have the concat, dbms, current user, dbms, delimiter, date time, file, if, include, length, switch, and many more. So you can use any of this function and create the macro. For example, you can select the particular macro or suppose I, if I select the validation rule, you can go to the macro toolbar and suppose in the validation rule I can add suppose I will add consent micro and I will add this validation rule click on the insert button and close so that macro will be get inserted suppose you want after validation rule if you want to add uh, some more micros also for example if you want some addition suppose action insert it close so I can add the addition also but I want combination of that how can we do that so we are going to see the how to use combination functions or inbuilt functions in combination to achieve the complex macro so I'll just delete this for now I'll click OK and we'll go back so in today's domain we are going to create one macro which will change the naming convention of the indexes so let's have let's have a look what are the indexes available so as this is physical model we have the index properties in the index properties i say th this is the physical name of the index x ak1 party x ak2 party 
एक्स आई वन पार्टी एक्स पी के पार्टी आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस नेमिंग कन्वेंशन एज पर माई बिजनेस सो हाउ कैन आई डू दैट सो इन आवर टू डू दैट वी हैव टू यूज द मैक्रो सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड वन मैक्रो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू दैट मैक्रो सो वॉट आई डिड आई फर्स्ट यूज द स्विच कंडीशन इन द स्विच कंडीशन आई एम डूइंग द सब्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ द की टाइप सो वॉट इज दिस की टाइप सब्सट्रैक्ट आई नो द स्विच इज अ कस्टम फंक्शन सब्सट्रैक्ट इज ऑल्सो कस्टम फंक्शन बट वॉट इज द की टाइप सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द की टाइप यू हैव टू गो टू दिस इयर uh here i can see the a k i d physical name but i cannot see the key type so key type is coming from the logical data model so you have to again go back to the logical data model click on this your model go to the key group property and here you can see the type so key type is nothing but the type in the logical data model so it is p k a k 1 a k 2 or i so these are the types p k means primary key a k means alternative key and i am it's uh as we say in recently this is the relationship here inversion entry in the logical data model or the non unique key in the physical data model so that is inversion entity so so these are the key types we have so what i'm doing so, uh, so i'm using the switch function from the inbuilt functions and inside that i'm using the substract uh, substring and the substring what i'm doing i'm doing the substring of the key type from 1 to 2 so that means first two letters will be considered so what are the first two letter pk for every k the first two letters will be selected pk ak ak ie now if the substring is pk okay that means if it is a primary key what i'm doing give the name as x Percent sign table name. That means what are the table name? For example, in my current case, it is the party and PK. So if you want to change any convention instead of X, if you want any business name, your project name, you can use that. Or if you want to use your schema name, you can use that as well. Instead of PK, if you want to use full name, primary key, that is also possible. Or if you want particular column name, you can use that as well. If it if it is the substring of this key type is ak that means your substring ak then what i'm doing x underscore table name ak underscore you're using because in your table there will be multiple alternative key or multiple unique keys so for the reason alternate key 1 alternate key 2 alternate key 3 sub in that sequence i want to add so something like that i'm doing here Uh, with this function what i'm doing then substring of the key type 3 4 that 3 4 means what is the sequence number means 1 2 3 up to 10 digit then concat to the existing with this my key type else substring just substring the 3 and 4 then if our criteria our, our key type does not fall in primary key or alternative key we have the default uh signature where we are just appending x table key we are using the inversion entry that is you can say any other word it is not necessary it should be the same and we are doing the same with the substring of 3 and 4th character up to 10 digit so this is the macro we have written so what you have to do you have to just copy this macro so macro is custom functionality copy that go to the action button model naming and instead of percent key so percent key name that is automatically populated so i'm just removing that click on that just verify it is everything is properly copied or not for the safe side you can see the switch and this upper case and lower case are so important from where you can get those upper case lower case you can go to the macro tool and you can see what is the upper case what is the lower case like for example current file c is capital f is capital other are in lower case so all these functions you have to be stick with that otherwise this macro will not be created or it will give some error uh, while displaying that name click on okay once it is done what you can do you can just go back go to the key properties Uh, sorry k group properties here you can see the x pk pra party 
uh, it is not showing as per our what we expected expected then go to the physical and let's try to see here index property oh look at here because physical data model is important for the developer or it is the, like your database will be uh, constructed based on your physical data model so the indexes are more important with respect to the physical data model not for the logical data model so what are the <coughs> convention here used here that will be reflected in your actual database now if you can see the x is appended party ak that is alternative key 0 1 if you add one more alternative key for example i will let me add alternative key is nothing but unique key so you can see the party x 0 3 got created let me add dl now if you want to sort it by convention you can sort by alta, uh, alphabetic you can sort by reverse alphabetic or you can index order also i will do the alphabetic or let do the reverse alta, alphabetic so i can see the ie first any so this way you can create the indexes in a specific uh, business format so I hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand what are the micros, how to uh, create the micros, what is the basic understanding of micros and how to configure the, these micros to achieve the custom functionality. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.